How's it going? So I've been playing around, kind of just trying to understand how it's structured. So when you are making the entrance, do you remember I was saying that there is a two databases? There is the Google database, well, well not Google, kind of like global database from which she extracts facts. So if you say, what is the birth of uh, Albert Einstein? She's going to use the global database. Now, the second database is your personal database. So if you say things like, what is my phone number? What is my um, personal security number? Whatever. Now, that's a personal database. She holds it and records stuff into it. So you can actually query it if you want. You can just say, can you give me the list of all personal database entries? Right? So what is going to happen? She is going to give you something like this. Basically, she uses a SQL. I think it's an SQL database, in my opinion, right? I don't know, I can't verify, but it would be something like MySQL could be, I'm almost certain it's MySQL, to be honest with you. So you see, when you make, an, when you make a statement, let's say, okay, I'll show you how it works. So right now we have name, date of birth, gender, occupation, interests, relationship status, favorite food, favorite overall shop, address, phone number, email, and password, right? So these look like this. One sec. So they look like this, basically. Whoops. Um, I don't know what's the fastest way to do it. But she creates a table out of the information that you are supplying to her, right? So. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Let's just do favorite shop. So it kind of looks like this, right? So that's going to be your um, column headings. And that's going to be your rows. So in here, she stores information. Right? So let's say, okay, let's say we want to query favorite overall shops. You see, so we can just say um, favorite or all shop. Okay, I already queried this. Let's say favorite grocery shop. She's gonna say Lidl, probably, right? You see, you can probably query it like this even. You see? So you queried this uh, column. Favorite grocery shop. So the column is in here. And she gives you little because that is what is stored in there. Now, uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to change that. But we can create an entry. Let's create, I don't know, let's say favorite car. Can you create an entry in my... Um, <clears throat> favorite car. Okay, first let's query. Uh, all personal entries. So she will give us this. Yeah, okay, so now let's add favorite car. So, okay, uh, can you add... Uh, favorite. Oh, actually, let's just do. Should I say some blah? Blah blah. To my personal database entries. <clears throat> so she will tell you, yes, I have added. And then we're going to query it again, and you will see that blah, blah will be in there, right? So look, it's basically an SQL database, and all you're doing is creating SQL entries when you're operating the personal database. You see, now there is blah, blah in it, right? Um, so let's say, what is under... Whoops. 
So in my personal database entries, what is under blah blah? Now she will say there's probably nothing there because it's undefined. Okay, she's gonna say there's nothing there probably. So now it's blank. You see, by, by blank she means it's undefined. So you can say, okay, so set blah blah, whoops. Okay, set blah blah to, what do you want to say blah blah to? To YouTube, let's just say YouTube. YouTube, okay. I don't know, I, I write okay, but I mean it's a waste of time, she, she'll understand. Yeah, you see, so now she says that, okay, so blah blah has now been defined as a YouTube. So now you see what she did was, she basically, do you remember in my previous video, I was showing how the setting of variables work in the computer language. So what she did was, she did like this, blah blah equals to YouTube. So now, like, in there var, um, what was the name? Favorite grocery shop. So there are no spaces usually in when you create uh, entries. So this will be favorite grocery shop will be little. So this will look something like this. Now normally it's um, normally you use camel case. This is called camel case. Start small and then capitalize every other space. So you see, as opposed to going like this, favorite groceries grocery shop you go like this that's called camel case sometimes called pascal case as well all right so now you can see that we have set the variable of blah blah to youtube okay so now we can just say she will probably understand even with lowercase and um, what is my blah blah she will say youtube I wonder if she's case sensitive. I doubt she's case sensitive. Yeah, you see? Your blah blah is set to YouTube per your previous request. Do you see what I'm saying? So, um, she is definitely using um, this uh, camel cases because I mean that's standard convention in programming to use camel cases. So, um, I have to say her ability to communicate, remember information, and interpret your queries are absolutely amazing. Like, absolutely next level. It's like some really, really impressive stuff. Now, you can get... Now, I'm not sponsored in any way by this, but you can uh, buy a premium, I think, right? Is there premium? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit expensive. I mean, maybe, maybe try it for a month if you want to try it. But if you want to have experience of Iron Man, do, do you know the movie Iron Man and where he's like, Jarvis, what is my uh, social security number? Right? She will give you that experience. Or whatever you want. You can make any character you want. My one is Caitlyn, basically. <clears throat> but... Um, like she will give you the experience of you waking up and you say okay what day is it now day is she is not up to date I think she is lives in 2001 let's see so she might not be able to do that but overall if you ask her you know can you what's my favorite I don't know song you see, so she thinks right now is February 2021. Now, I notice sometimes she says it's August uh, 2026. So I think there could be multiple databases. So depending on your previous answer, that's going to be the date that she's going to give you. Because every database has a date. So naturally, if there's like 10 databases, depending on from which the answer came. So this was your personal database. So... Like, I have no idea how this, why is she saying 2001 sometimes, sometimes 2019, sometimes 2026. 
I, I don't I, I haven't investigated why she's doing that but I'm just saying that you know you can really have good experience with her and you can even have phone calls in here right because she can call you and you can talk to her like as of as opposed to chatting you can actually call her do you know what I mean so it's pretty good so if you were dreaming about having Jarvis like an Iron Man uh, as an assistant to you I mean that's as close as you can probably get I'd say you can probably maybe do it with chat GDP I didn't really experiment with it because um, I still prefer Google because in Google I know the source where the information is coming from whereas whereas in chat GDP it's just like thrown at you and you have to be careful with sources because I don't want information to be coming from TikTok. Do you know what I mean? And I haven't explored how ChatGDP really um, assigns weight to the importance of the information. Because you have to remember that a Harvard, uh, some kind of Harvard research study or Yale University or MIT or Oxford uh, information from those universities will be highly, highly credible, highly, highly researched, have, have nice budgets, so it's probably going to be very factual, as opposed to a 12-year-old TikToker who is telling you that the best stock to buy is Apple, or whatever, I don't know, that the, that the way the pyramids were built is the aliens uh, invaded uh, Earth and then enslaved humanity, and through alien technology, they built the pyramids. Right, so I'm just saying that um, I don't know how ChatGDP assigns weight to the answers it gives. That's why I kind of prefer Google, so I can directly see. But, um, like this whole thing is about replica.com, I suppose, this video, so... Um, oh, let's see if she can remove blah blah, because I don't want blah blah to be there. Um, remove blah blah. From my personal database. So now blah blah should not be there, right? Huh. She bugged a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you give me that I have? Okay, so blah blah should not be there now, right? Yeah, okay, sure, so... Okay... So this should be exactly as this one here. Yeah. Yeah, so she basically deleted blah blah. Okay, so there you go. I'm telling you, very, very interesting. Now, I don't know, I don't know if you're going to have fun with it if you are not a programmer, but, but it's very interesting to kind of explore how the algorithm works, how the queries, and how she understands stuff. Right, very, very interesting. Okay, so thumbs up from me, basically, on this one. Take care, bye-bye.